Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, Sunday, January 7. Here again. In Dingaland. Bring I met the way. On another beautiful morning. <laughs> Once again, I start my video and I have to sneeze. I don't know what it is, folks. Anyway, let's take a look. You can see beautiful breeze, beautiful morning, no rain, got the grass cut yesterday because it was such a nice morning. Looks good, everything looks good. Uh, they're all in church right now, everybody. Everybody but me. Somebody has to stay here. So that's good. She's in the habit now of taking the kids to church. I think that's a good thing. As long as they behave. Uh, last week when she did it, they said James did behave. So that's, that's important. good news also some good news uh, I messaged the vet Patch's doctor asked if uh, she's having any improvements since the uh, IV was put in and she sent me back a message and also a tiny video a little video with uh, Patch eating some chicken out of her hand, wagging her tail. She looked a lot better. She looked happy. She looked like she was coming around. It's the first time I saw her eating anything. Uh, so she was being really, really nice to her. And she said Patch uh, doesn't like the bedding, doesn't like laying on it. She takes the bedding away and wants to lay on the floor. And she said, also, Patch uh, doesn't like to pee or poop inside. She wants to be taken outside, which is really, really nice to pee and poop. So I don't know if she pooped, but uh, I guess she, she peed. Who knows? She didn't really explain it. So I said, uh, are you still had, does she still have the IV in there? She said, uh, yes, she'll be finished with the IV by like 4 o'clock this afternoon. And uh, that we can pick her up around 5. So right now that's the plan. We're going to bring Patch home tonight. This evening. So that's good news if she's eating a little bit. And she's coming around. I had my doubts. Uh, that the operation was so botched maybe she had internal bleeding and she wasn't going to make it or something got screwed up inside when she was being operated on and there was going to be complications but uh, the video showed uh, showed she was pretty happy and she was eating so that's good Good news. Uh, you can see the tricycle's not back yet. Uh, I think today it should be done. I told Grace while she's in town to go check on it. Because that's where the church is. So right now this is a solo. It's all done. The only thing it really could use is another uh, exhaust system muffler and everything, but uh, this one doesn't have any holes in it yet or anything. It's just kind of rusty looking. But everything else is pretty nice on it. I haven't even taken it for a ride, really. I need to do that just to check it out. When it's uh, off the uh, tricycle, it's kind of a good time to take it for a ride. But everything's good.
all mechanics it even looks good definitely doesn't look old we uh we did a good job beam beam did a good job and uh once we get that tra uh the uh sidecar it's gonna be like uh like brand new and my scooter's running good everything's fixed on it now it did need one more part the guy across the street put in some part that was causing it not to start and drain the battery um, very inexpensive part but uh, I gave him a nice tip he was really happy Tons of these little birds around here. Always tiny birds. Anyway, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, we got pretty good news all around. So the next step, uh, once we get Patch home, get her all settled, make sure she's kind of back to normal. I'm sure she'll take it easy for a little while. She probably won't go playing with her doggy friends for a little while till she feels back to normal running around playing we'll see we'll see how uh, how she does but uh, I'm sure she'll need to take it easy for a little bit and then the next step after that uh, we have to we have to or I have to make the trip to Makati I have to go to the bank and change all that my information uh, here comes Beam. Hey! So, uh... Let me talk to Beam here. Uh, Beam, they're all in church right now. Just wait for them to come back. Because, uh... I told Grace, when she's at church, to check on the tricycle to see if it's finished. So wait for them to come back. If it's finished, you can go get it. Maybe uh, 30 minutes, maybe one hour, I don't know. Okay, thank you. There you go, he got the message. He's coming back. He doesn't live far. Right across the street, he lives by the school. So that was nice of him to come by. He's pretty good. He he's our main man fixing anything. He can weld. He can do plumbing. He can do electric. Uh, he's really a good guy to know, man. And he doesn't have a steady job right now, anyway. Sometimes he gets steady work, but it's pretty rare. Uh, it depends. So it's it's good to have him close by. Anytime something breaks. Well, let's go get Beam. <laughs> he's fixed a lot of things for us. He's done a lot of things. He's built a lot of things. Uh, most of the things around here he's built. Not the main house. He didn't build the main house. But he built the Aircon house. And he helped uh, build the uh, storage unit there. House. Uh, he's done a lot. Anytime I have a project and he's available, that's who we get. And he uh, he has a couple sons and they help out once in a while also. I think he's got three sons or four sons. So they all help him. Ah. The kids are enjoying uh, the little volleyball thing, badminton. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> uh, we kind of have a new kid living here. I'll introduce you another time. But it's uh, basically a relative of our caretakers. Our old caretakers, Nanai and Tatai. Uh, Nanai's brother he's a real mess he's like a always drunk 
Last time he came here, he had a big cut on his head, with blood pouring down it, and he had his little daughter with him. So we have his son, his little son here. They're all relatives. They're, they're related to the, the caretakers we have now. They're all related. Uh, and I think he's in grade six. So he's a little older than Catherine. But he does get along with Catherine. He does get along with James. He plays basketball with James a little bit. So it's kind of nice. James has a like a big brother. Uh, but he's closer to Catherine's age. So I got to keep an eye on them. But uh, he's a nice kid. He helps out uh, Jimmy Boy, the other caretaker. He helps him out a lot. Does a little bit of work around here. Because child labor is no big deal in the Philippines. Kids start working here when they're eight, nine. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I've seen them even work younger. <laughs> There's no child labor laws here. Anyway, he's a big help when he's not playing. And uh, as I said, his, his family situation is not good. I don't know where the little girl is. She used to hang out here also, play with Catherine. But I haven't seen her for a while. I only see her at school. Uh, I don't know why she doesn't come by anymore. But the little boy is kind of living here now. At least for now. Grace told him he could. And I'm not going to tell him he can't. I mean, he doesn't cause any problems. He doesn't take up much room. He sleeps with them at the caretakers. And he just eats with us. So, I mean, it's one more mouth to feed, but it's not a big deal. He eats what's ever available. He's not picky like our kids. Our kids are totally picky. They don't like their vegetables. They pick everything out, especially Catherine. James is not as bad. And uh, Mommy spoils them, makes them special food. I said, don't do that. Make them eat whatever you, make them eat whatever you cook. Don't give them anything special. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting down the hammer to that. Uh, I'm tired of her feeding them hot dogs and chicken nuggets all the time, or egg, because that's all Catherine wants. Uh, I said, no, make her eat the vegetables, make her eat the fish, whatever you guys cook, that's what we have. Uh, now, of course, me, I cook for myself, and if I have leftover, Catherine prefers my food to what mommy cooks. James usually does also because I eat primarily chicken uh, and they like the way I make it taste better than that what they are used to so that's the story there one more mouth to feed but uh, it's no big deal if something happens and he uh, pisses me off or bothers me I'll, I'll let I'll let them know. I just uh, have to be careful because he's an older boy around Catherine. I have to watch them when they're playing their hide and seek and stuff like that. Uh, I know how I was at like uh, 11, 12 years old. I was already liking girls. So I got to watch it. But right now I think everything's okay. Uh, and he seems to be a pretty good boy. I told him, though, if he's going to live here, he needs to start speaking English. So he did say good morning to me this morning in English. First time. Uh, I think he's still trying to get used to me. He's a little shy. But, uh, he'll get better. So, that's the news. That's all the news for right now. Take one look, last look outside right now. There are people around. People swimming over there. A lot of people coming in, it's a Sunday. They're coming in on motorcycles, trucks, vans. Cause it's gonna be a beautiful day, I think. So perfect day to come, uh, come here. So that's it for now. I'll just wait for them to come home from church and see what's going on with the tricycle. And then uh, later on, 
Patch will be home. So we'll be doing another video later of the tricycle and of Patch. But for now, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, it's free. And uh, as always, God bless everyone. Have a pleasant Sunday. Santa Claus. Over and out.